All right, hello and welcome everyone. We are here to animate. Uh, as you saw at the video at the beginning, uh, I'm going to do a walk cycle. Uh, so I've got, gone ahead and done a um, front view of our Arch Joe character waving. So yeah, let's get right to it. So we're going to bring in our side character, Arch Joe side. Let that import. And gonna start rigging him. Um, before we do that, we gotta set some um, anchor points here. So take the hand, uh, Y for pan behind tool, or up here, pan behind tool. And we're gonna, let's have snapping on. And we're gonna snap just to where we think that the hands will be rotating. Snap right there. I'm going to try and make this quick for you guys because I know you guys got stuff to do. So let's go ahead and get this going. Now I won't get into um, the Illustrator files and how to break them up. Um, there's tutorials online for that and unless you want me to get into that kind of stuff, I can. Uh, but for now, we're going to just focus on how to use the, the Duic and the rubber hose plugins. Um, these will be be provided uh, in a link so you guys can take them and study them and you know kind of see how everything is broken up into various into the groups and layers and things like that. Um, uh, this was also provided by Freepick. Um, this guy right here, uh, Arch Joe, is the guy who made this. He's got a lot of cool stuff, so. Check his stuff out. A lot, of, a lot of cool fancy stuff. So this character reappears a lot. So this might be useful to know. Alright, here we go. Back to it. Just like again, we're just gonna move these anchor points to where um, they should be rotating. Now the legs and arms don't really matter at this point. Uh, we're gonna replace those anyway uh, with the rubber hose pl uh, plug. And I'll get into that in a bit. So let's just go ahead and move these. Uh, right. There we If you hear sounds or music or something, I got a little bit of low music going on in the background, just something to break up the silence. So if you hear that, uh, apologies. Um, but I am enjoying it. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and take our, because um, we have some separate layers like the eyes, the glasses, the mouth. We're going to parent those to the head. And we're going to lock those because we don't want to mess with those. Uh, we're going to parent the tie to the chest, lock that so we don't accidentally click it. Um, and we're going to be parenting a lot of different things. So uh, just so we don't get confused, we can, we can hide these layers with the little hide icon, which I always thought looked kind of weird. Like his, that is nose. That's his nose. That one, whatever. All right, here we go. Um, so you want to go to window, uh, do it. And this nice little window comes up. Now it was a little tricky to install. You guys might not run into that issue, but, um, it, it, when I installed it, it said error, could not find a uh, pseudo effects. And then these dialog boxes come up on how, how to fix it. Um, so just read those carefully. You'll have to navigate through some folders, copy paste a few lines of code. Um, they make it pretty easy, so you just gotta pay attention and read, uh, which I'm not very good at sometimes, so yeah. Alright. <laughs> so to get started, we're gonna hit the auto rig. 
um, plantigrade, which is the bipedal characters, uh, full character. And I, I have a pretty easy naming convention. They make it pretty easy. They got a lot of a lot of different um, options that you can go for and, and, and go through. But we're gonna keep it pretty basic just because this character isn't too complex. So for the thigh, uh, left leg, so we're gonna go left. Uh, stupid, there we go. Foot, left foot, next. Um, yeah, and flashes. I don't know how that's going to affect the capture, but uh, right leg, right thigh, right foot. Um, we don't have a shoulder blade, so we're just going to do the arm. Uh, left arm, left hand, next. Right arm, right hand, um, and these auto these autofill just because of the way that they're named. So we can yes, and we don't have a tail or a pelvis. It's all just like one torso. Um, you could go into the AI file and break up this chest layer into into the lower and upper half, but for now we we can just leave it alone. He's not going to have a pelvis. He's going to have a whole torso. Um, and then it'll generate these nice um, sort of guide points. And you can move it around and um, it'll move your character around. Rotate that. So it, we, it doesn't have the stretch, the character stretch, um, which I won't get into. There's plenty of tutorials on the Duik website that get into that but I'm just gonna keep it basic because the arm that we're gonna replace is gonna be rubber hose so it'll be able to stretch and bend and and do the, all the things that we want to do and what's really cool about how they have this set up is that um, it's parented to a zero layer which is invisible or hidden so these are all zero there and so you can just hit zero zero and it'll take it right back to where you originally had it um, so I think that's pretty cool <clears throat> so we're, we have that let's go ahead and mess around with um, actually we can lock all of these layers all the graphic layers because we don't want to mess with those um, it's the head uh, neck and then the, the, the chest or the torso yeah mmm 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 sorry moving on <laughs> feet so yeah it's pretty cool pretty easy they, they they have it set up pretty intuitively um so now we're gonna do some rubber hose so we're gonna take these right arm, left arm, left thigh, right thigh. Uh, delete them. We don't need them. We're gonna replace them. <clears throat> okay, so okay, rubber hose right here, which is when you install it, um, it'll appear in here as rubber hose. So you just click on that, and then a nice little window will pop up. Now there's a lot of options. Um, we'll get into some of these later, but for now we're just going to make left arm, and this is the actual system to create it. And then these are just the naming conventions of the handles that it gives you. So if this is just like a r a noodle, it would be that. These are for various. Uh, body parts. Shoulder wrist so we're and it'll create a cool noodle thing. Uh, we're gonna lock that for now. So pretty cool, pretty sweet. Now they have a lot of tutorials on their site as well so I might recommend that you go and check them out see what they have um, which I will provide in the, the link below. 
um, hose. They got a lot of cool stuff. I really enjoy the this style. Um, I'm not much of a graphic designer, so that's why I end up taking from other people. But um, you know, it's really cool. So yeah, go check it out. So this is the wrist. We're gonna have snapping on. And it's the left wrist, and we're going to snap to the left hand. So take this handle, snap it right there. And we're going to want to invert the bend direction. So we're going to go to minus 100. And then this will be our shoulder, and we can just put this somewhere on his shoulder. So it might be too much. So the wrist is going to have most of the controls for um, the hose itself, I found that 350 was a good number, a good length to have it. Now it does stretch, and the handles will turn colors when it's when it uh, when it's stretching, as opposed to bending. <clears throat> Undo those. Now we're going to change the color of the the hose itself. So we're going to select it and take the the stroke color here and color pick the shirt and you you can change the shirt to whatever color you want you know just make sure you update it in the um, in the illustrator file you know obviously not not that color but uh, we can take this down to 30 or 35 I like 35 35 seems like a nice number so we're gonna lock that and we're gonna parent the shoulder to the chest and parent it to this chest. Uh, we're going to lock that, and we're going to parent this wrist to the wrist control that we generated from the do it uh, left hand. So we're going to lock that, and we can hide those. We don't need those, and we can set those to to those as well. Actually, let's leave wrist uh, unhidden and unlocked because there are specific options in here that we're, we're going to want to play with and keep like the direction, like if he raises his arm behind him, we want to change the bend direction. Or if we wanted to get really cartoony, we can e extend the length out or, you know, a lot of cool options. So just play with them and see what you what works for you, for your character. So um, it's fine. Now we're just going to kind of rinse and repeat for the rest of uh, the parts. Um, so here we go. Right arm. Um, you could actually, I haven't tried it, but we can see if we go to rubber hose. Um, if we were to copy, um, this, I think we can copy paste. Okay, well, that kind of works. Shoulder. We can actually just take the position of the shoulder that we had up here and paste it to that. Uh, actually, let's parent it to the chest and then paste it. There we go. That works. We just go over. Uh, we're going to invert the direction again. And it's going to be tree fitty, tree fitty. I like rap. I'm hip. Whatever. You don't know me. Uh, snapping back on. There we go. And we can rearrange these layers so the hand comes out on top, or you know, whatever. Um, in fact, where are our hand layers? Hand. Put the hand above the hose. Yeah. Rotate. Let's rotate this hand back to the where way we had it. Zero. Uh, 